I wanted to ask you first, you know, what was different for you guys tonight than the first time you guys played this team? Like, what do you think you guys did better this time around? But... I saw it was game. I thought we had better energy tonight. I didn't think we had great urgency and uh, great energy in the game. I don't know. If I, th I thought maybe the first half, I thought we'd uh, maybe hit a wall. We needed a break, and it came at the wrong time uh, with, with the game left. But, um, you know, I thought our urgency was good tonight. I thought we played uh, a simple game plan, and uh, we were effective tonight with uh, managing box. And you had mentioned last week you about starting to score five on five. How big was the goal that AJ got for you guys to kind of... Yeah, it was good because we'd had some chances. You know, you're obviously up against a good goalie and an elite goalie. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be not going to be easy to score. I mean, we made some outstanding saves tonight, but uh, that certainly propelled us, gave us some energy, and gave us some some momentum. And Nico too, for a freshman to kind of take over a game like this in the third period, what, what impressed you about what he did tonight? Yeah, I thought the line was good. You yeah. know, I, th I thought we had depth. I think you know he's, he's got some injuries over there. Mo does, and uh, they weren't they weren't dressing with the four complete lines, and we took advantage of that. I thought that uh, yeah. uh, we rolled four lines. We had uh, we had depth on our bench, and uh, we kept coming in waves. So I thought that. Uh, uh, you know, plus they had some penalties, and mm -hmm. I thought that led to uh, led to our success tonight. And defensively too, what did you like about that end of the ice for you guys today? Yeah, I mean cleaner. I thought you know it goes back to it. You know, we get dialed in a little bit, uh, lost some games that we shouldn't have. We haven't played the way we should have played. I sh excuse me, I should say it wasn't uh, mm -hmm. wasn't our best uh, complete efforts, mm -hmm. and uh, we were attention to detail in practice this week and preparation led led to success here tonight. And you got the last few weeks of the season coming up. How big is this game for you guys to kind of get back? Well, we wanted to use this game to help propel us and get get some energy. You know, we had uh, you know, we had to find ways to win games. We've had leads in multiple games we lost recently or tied recently, um, and uh, you know, it just it's a situation that we got to we, we got to manage that. And I was most happy tonight after having lead how smart we played and not really uh, we took the risk out of our game. After kind of a tough loss, I'm not supposed to come down here and find like 15, 20 former players who want to see it. They're my boys. Yeah. It's great to see they're all doing well in their lives. Beyond hockey, they survived me. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, it's really heartwarming to see those guys come by. And, you know, some of these guys I haven't seen in years, but I seem to pick right up where they left off. Yeah. Uh, when you've recruited guys and you've gotten to know their families and yeah. watched them go through four years, it's tough. To, uh, tough to forget those guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the defensive effort you guys had tonight. Uh, what do you think of the job you guys did on that end of the ice? Uh, I thought we did a great job. You know, I think uh, past few games we've, we've given teams a little too much, uh, too much respect and too many opportunities. I think we, we tightened up tonight, and um, you know, we, we were fully committed to playing, you know, team defense tonight. And you know, it uh, I think it showed on the scoreboard. What was different this time around too for you guys against this team than the first time you played them over at Appleton? Um, you know, I think we just didn't. Didn't give them too many chances to score. You know, when we played them there, they had a five on three goal, and then that one breakaway goal where they got in behind our guys. I think we just, uh, you know, we we were our discipline wasn't great in the first, but you know, we didn't give them too many power play opportunities, and then um, you know, we just made sure we were above our guys all night, and um, you know, it worked out for us. It was uh, the last thing I was asked was doing a job Nico did in the third period for you guys, or he, a freshman to come up like that. He was huge. You know, mm -hmm. he's he's been big for us all year, and you know, to, for him to come up clutch like that, it's it's really no surprise. Good to yeah. see. It's first thing I ask you, the empty net goal, what was going through your mind when you saw that cross the line and you knew you guys had clinched the win? Um, yeah, relief, obviously. Yeah. Um, right away, I looked around and I looked at our bench and you could see the big huddle. Just, uh, you can see what uh, this one means to our team. And your first game ever playing this team in this building, what does it mean to you to be able to play such a big role in it? Yeah, obviously, it has a huge rivalry. If, I think if there's one thing that the guys tell you when first game, you can't lose against St. Lawrence at home, yeah. you know, no matter what. So. Uh, you know, contributing is always fun, and uh, I think very special night for the team, and um, extremely happy right now. And the breakaway goal you scored too. What kind of happened on that play? What did you see there? Um, yeah, I saw Sheldon get the puck in our own zone, and uh, right away I just took ice, and I, yeah. I already knew what I was going to do actually before I got the puck. Yeah. Um, so yeah, great ice by by Sheldon, and um, it's a good ball. And it's the atmosphere in the building. I mean, it was different than some games. What was it like to play in this game, just to hear the crowd, and especially after the last goal, it seemed like the place just got really loud. Yeah, it's very special. To mm -hmm. uh, I think we got an awesome crowd every game. Uh, Pat Bennett travels to our uh, road games. Mm -hmm. um, we really appreciate the support uh, yeah. tonight. A rowdy building against uh, you know the number one team in uh, ECAC right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we really needed the support, and I, I think we paid it back. I guess you asked about the first goal you scored, what kind of happened on that play? Uh, I just saw Bruce shoot the puck on a 2 on one opportunity, went back door and found my stick, so that's about it. And you guys had had some trouble the last couple of games, you were getting five on five goals and stuff. How big was that just to kind of see that happen for your team? Uh, I mean, it's good to get the monkey off the back. It was good to get out of that little rut. So, I mean, 
Uh, power play, I don't think we clicked on the power play tonight, but it was still showed a lot of good things and it was just good to get it done five on five. And we you know with Kyle too, I know he's sometimes tough to get goals against too. Like, you know, what did you have to do? What do you have to do as a player? You gotta put pucks high up on him. He's good yeah. low, he takes it all the way low. He's a good goalie, so I mean, we just got the best of him tonight, so. Okay. And obviously, uh, any win against SLU is going to be big because of the rivalry, but how big was it to beat a team that's in first place? And yeah, so. it was unbelievable. The two points are huge, and uh, hopefully, uh, some other teams took care of business for us in the league here so we can bump up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you have any? Thanks.